What is going on boys? It's me, Daily Tactics here, and today we are back in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 with the British Redcoats here defending the breach in the walls of this castle. They are only in this small keep area defending against approximately 8 million One Health Rioters. These rioters are coming for the revolution against the British here and the British have to defend their decrepit castle. Either way, it should be an awesome video. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're working our way towards 500,000 subscribers. And comment down below if you'd like to see some more in the future. Either way, let's get into it. Either way, gamers, pressing start right now. And there we go. The musket fire is going out. And wait, are these guys on hold move mode? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I'll be right back. Okay, after that glitch, we're back, and everyone should be attacking. There we go. The rioters are actually going to be rioting in this battle. Beautiful. Either way, these enemy rioters are at one health, meaning any bullet that scrapes them, even sniffs them, will die. Uh, these guys are basically the weakest of the weak. It's impossible not to kill them. Uh, and yet, they're still making it to the red coat lines. There we go. They got the kill. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This musket fire is rounding off into these guys, and even the stray bullets are going to be getting kills all the way back here. Literally any stray bullet that hits a knight all the way out here, like this poor sap, he's dead. He's gone. He's out of here. Bye bye That's it. Dead as a doornail. Uh, so that's what makes this battle so intriguing, and I love these riot battles because of that. You just get insane results right off the rip. Oh, look at this. This almost reaches the top of the wall. I feel like this is a little bit of a a castle design flaw right here. Luckily, they're not quite tall enough to get up there. Um, and now they're getting shot in the back as they realize, oh god, we are facing down the barrel of these muskets right now. That's a bit of a yikes to me, dog. Um, the front over here, we do have these uh, these boys getting up to the redcoats, but luckily it's a pretty bad trickle for them. They're not really able to do too much damage to these redcoats in here just yet. So that that won't be too much of a threat, I feel like. There is another entrance over here, of course. Um, there's a gateway over this way. It seems to be being held very, very nicely at this choke point, uh, and the redcoats are holding them back. And there's another gateway over here. It seems like we are getting similar results over this way, too. By the way, experimental blood is on, so we will be seeing some crazy pooling happening during this battle, which should be pretty cool. And actually, this entire battle was a suggestion from someone. We did rioters fighting this castle as a whole before, but people were saying, hey, it'd be really cool if you did the entire keep area of just the damaged portion of the castle versus these rioters, as if they had just blown a hole in this thing and we're now streaming on forward trying to kickstart the revolution type deal. And I really like that idea. I think that sounds awesome and I'm super glad we're getting to do it right now. I mean, look how cool this looks. Just these riders streaming in here against 18,700 redcoats defending. Right now we do have 700 dead redcoats, but I think a lot of the dead redcoats uh, were troopers who were stuck outside. Like there was a few who spawned outside of the walls, like these guys here. Um, so those were the easiest kills possible for these uh, one health riders to kill. So I think we're gonna be seeing the rate of death for the Redcoats going way down as the battle goes on here, which is going to be good for them because if they were losing 700 uh, Redcoats per minute, they'd definitely lose this battle. But now it's trickling down to just a couple of Redcoats every second or so, um, which is good. We need it to be slow for these Redcoats to actually have a good shot at winning this thing. Uh, meanwhile, we do have 72,000 dead riders however there's actually more than that we started with 8 million riders and now we're down to 7.8 million riders so clearly riders are dying uh somehow of natural causes whether that be falling off of these cliffs or drowning uh or various other things like you can even get crushed actually if you have too many standing too close to each other they can crush and die uh so they are dying at a higher rate than the redcoats are killing them which is definitely another good thing for the redcoats right there they need that uh oh oh this could be a problem we do have blood pooling inside of the keep what i kind of thought was going to happen was the blood would pool outside since it's a downhill slope but it seems like the uh, little body pile here is actually trapping the blood inside the keep and resulting in all of it collecting over here. 
and so that puts these guys at a massive risk of drowning. That could be a major problem, but simultaneously, having that uh, pool right there could prevent these guys from actually moving through it and could create a natural gap that they cannot cross, and thus, the Redcoats just have to defend the other three entrance points. By the way, I forgot to check this entrance point over here. It seems to be getting held pretty well. It's just a very light trickle in of enemies over this way. So that's that's not too big of a worry. Yeah, not too big of a worry at all. But this is definitely a concern. This uh, blood pool that's forming right here. That could result in many a red coat death in just a few seconds. Um, why don't we go ahead and do a time lapse actually of this game. We can watch these guys stream in. We can watch the red coats firing them. And then we can also watch uh, the blood pool rise in that little section uh, right there at the entrance. So that'll be pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and roll a nice little time lapse here for a bit. Alright, so this is pretty awesome. Um, the the pool actually is now spreading into the rest of the keep, I think. Um, because the body pile grew so high, it grew over the pool. I'm trying to see, like, sort of at their feet, like, you can see it's a little bit, but not too bad yet. Not too bad. So I'm not, I'm not terribly worried, but that could become a problem that this entire keep area is just going to become blood. Uh, yeah, that, that would be a little bit of a disaster. But, I mean, the redcoats are holding, baby. Like, if... If the whole pooling thing doesn't become a problem, I think they hold. I, I think they hold to the bitter end because they're holding the gates and they're holding the breach. That's all that matters. But the pooling is a very big concern. Very, very big concern. Oh, over here, yeah. You can see it's happening a little bit over this way. Um, also be interested to see if it happens on the opposite sides as well. That could be kind of neat to see. Um, we do have some folks attacking the ramparts up here a little bit that's sort of another way they could get in but it's a it's a long winding ramparts it, it would take a while to get through there so I'm not too concerned about that overall this is cool this is a really really cool battle I have to say I'm I'm actually fairly stoked about this I think what we should do now is do like an overhead bird's eye view like this of the battle We've got uh, 7.5 million um, of the rioters left alive, and uh, we have 17,300 redcoats left alive. Let's roll another time lapse right here of this bird's eye view. Check out what happens. I think this should be pretty cool to watch. So it's been a while, we were watching that time lapse occur. Um, yeah, the pooling at the bottom is definitely becoming a little worrisome. The body piles are preventing that from spilling outward, which is bad. That's very, very bad. I'm wondering if there's any pooling outside too. Um, maybe a little bit, but not a crazy amount. It's all getting trapped in here. So these guys could just get drowned out, which is so bad. Um, there's also been new entrance points formed, like over here. Body piles got so large that these guys are able to enter into the battlefield from this way, which is no good at all. Um, additionally, over here, there's a lot more troopers coming in. And then over here as well, there's more troopers coming in. These ones are a little bit more manageable because they're really a trickle. Uh, but this one over here is definitely a bit worrisome for sure. Either way, we're going to let this run maybe for like an hour or so and, and find out what happens. It's a slow battle, but it's an interesting one, so we will be sticking it out to the end, of course, uh, just to see what happens. So, uh, let, let's let it roll. All 
All right, we've been running for like an hour or so, actually over an hour now, and uh, things have gotten pretty crazy. So 4.6 million dead rioters, and I think what's happening is basically the rioters are coming up over this hill, and they're just getting slashed down. The hill's gotten large enough that they have to like run down it pretty steeply, and they're getting killed before they can get any kills themselves. Um, same thing sort of happening at each entrance here. I tried to sort of show off in the last 10 minutes or so the rising tide of the blood pool down here. I don't know how well that'll come off in a time lapse, but it's rising, and this is a very big concern, I think. Um, I mean, obviously, it, across this entire area, it's now up to waist height, and if it goes to their head, they start drowning and they start dying. So there is kind of a time limit on this battle in that if that pool gets too large, all of those guys die and they lose. Um, now, the sides up here, they all ended up getting wasted. Uh, they got pretty destroyed, pretty chopped up. Um, so the knights managed to do that at the very least. But, you know, the inside is good. The only major worry right now is the rising tide here, which is, is a very big worry. <laughs> Truth be told, that is a very, very big worry. Um, why don't we go ahead and do another time lapse right here of just charging knights. We can see the rising tide in the background. And here we have it, the massive problem. We're starting to see redcoats dropping, so it doesn't even need to be above their heads for them to die from drowning here. And this is where I think we're gonna see the absolute demise of the redcoats. They're dropping at an exponential rate here. This is gonna decrease their firepower by so much. What is happening here? Oh, there's a fence post and it's glitching the water. Well, these two, three guys might be safe. <laughs> Either way, the rest of them, probably not. Yeah, and they're, they're dying. They're going down. The levels reach too much of a peak for them. I think without the water level thing... Look how much. Holy smokes. Without that, I think they would win. I think they would win, but now I think that is coming into question. And, I mean, these guys are just going to be able to barrel through them now at a, at a more rapid pace because they're not getting shot at as much. Why don't we go ahead and do another overhead view of, uh, of a time lapse here and see the demise in action. And just as we suspected, towards the very end of this battle, it's pretty much rip for potato chip for everyone. Uh, this has gotten even deeper, which is crazy. Uh, the knights are actually dying from dipping into there every once in a while. But yeah, we just have this sort of last little stand of red coats over here. Knights are eating away at them very, very quickly. Is there anyone over here? No. There's some up here, though. Um, knights could definitely come up this way to go get them. I don't know why they're not, but eh. They'll do them. They'll figure it out eventually, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> either way, I'll be back once this battle has officially finished. All right, boys. There's only 78 musketeers left alive. Um, there's a couple here, um, a couple here, but it seems like the knights, for whatever reason, can't figure out how to get to them. So we can shotgun smite them to death. Yes! Either way, uh, these guys are glitching to the wall as well, so... There's basically no winning this, uh, I suppose, for the knights, um, technically. But there's still 2.9 million knights left alive. Look at that. They're still losing numbers by a lot, and that's because of natural death causes and stuff like that, which is pretty funny. Um, but I, I can't believe this. this. This is insane how this battle ended up going, man. Absolutely nuts. <laughs> this was pretty cool. Um, I, I really do think the Redcoats would have won without the Flood, but rip, rip, potato chip to them. Either way, guys, that's going to be about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below if you'd like to see some more. See you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. 
Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.